All right, so I just finished um, mocking up this H bridge here that I'm going to use for the um, use as a motor controller for the legs of Peter, Peter the biped, soon to be walking biped. Um, I started out with some pretty low current transistors. These guys here, these little Japanese guys, these are like uh, you know 50 cents each, and they're they're only about six amps and since the big actuators um, I think at max or peak will you know they'll drop about uh, 10 amps which I know is that's quite a bit but so I actually doubled that or really tripled it I picked up upgraded to some of these MOSFETs and again the price is really really low they're I think they're you know 40 to 60 cents each um, the P channels are 27 amps, and then the N channels, which are in the back, the back row here, those are actually 55 amps. They're from Fairchild. Picked them up at Mouser. Really inexpensive, and um, they're going to do the job. So what I've got here is four MOSFETs, the two P channels up front, the N channel in the back. And then you can barely see them, but then I also have these little NPN transistors here um, that come off of the microcontroller. So those, those two little NPN transistors are just switching the MOSFETs on and off. Really simple, uh, really simple setup. So then in the center here, we've got the motor controller, or rather not the motor controller, but the these little alligator clips which come to the um, come to the actuator power supply 12 volts um, over yonder here we've got um, the pickaxe code super simple right just a couple high low and pause statements um, for the sake of this test All right um, then we're gonna follow the line down and here's Peter laying on his back and we're just going to test the H-bridge circuit just to make sure that it kicks the uh, kicks the leg up and down and make sure those MOSFETs don't heat up nicely, which they shouldn't. Plenty of current, plenty of room to draw a bunch of current. So turn it on and uh, see what happens here. LEDs flashing back and forth, high channel and low channel or high side and low side turn it on and on on and off rather and uh, here's Pete extending his leg up and down so it's actually running quicker in one direction than it is the other because of the load so I'm actually unclip this puppy and I'm going to not that you care about this but just going to make it higher, a little bit longer than it is low. Upload that code real quick. And so he should pull his leg up a little longer than he's trying to put it down. No big deal. Just an experiment, clearly working. And I actually did it in the wrong direction, so. That's that, I'll leave it at that. I'll call it a, uh, Call it a mild success. We can start replicating these uh, these little MOSFET eight bridges and get a little closer to seeing Pete walk. <laughs>